Okay, so we gotta split the rations to everyone. Let's see what she has to say, Katja. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Uh oh. Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Blade, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Okay, like I said, we gotta get food to the kids. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Let's give her some food. Hey, Clem. You need something to eat. I love apples. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh, um... Enjoy it. You deserve it. You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix them. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Here. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! Duck and his family appreciate that, meaning Kenny and them are happy. Just, wait, no, I wanted to talk to Carly, not Kenny. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh. That can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. Even though the guy can be a real dick sometimes. Amen to that. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you. If he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do. But whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. I need to give some to Carly because remember she's the really good shot, so she needs the energy for it. Want something to eat? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but you don't owe me anything, Carly. Oh, apparently she didn't want it. Talk to Kenny. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. I'm not sure that's the best idea. You gave Glenn your blessing when he left. Just asking you respect my choice as well. Yeah, but he was leaving to find his friends. Your family's right here. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. The coast does sound like a smart idea, or you should stay here. Well, it does sound like a smart idea, so... The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Because on the coast you can find a boat, and a boat is exactly what you need in a zombie apocalypse. Where's Lily? Oh, here's Ben. Oh, there she is. Let's talk to Ben. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I nope, he's know, dead. But Kaja will do her best. I promise. Oh, yeah, that guy. Chopped off his leg. There was no other way. 
So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, um... Uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know. Something. I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. I'm not gonna get. It sounds mean, but I'm not giving him any food because we got to take care of our own right now. And he just got in the group. I sure hope so. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? They're arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know, people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Keep an eye out. Fine. I guess we should take Carly's advice and give some to that douchebag Larry. So we can get him on our side, too. Can you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I... I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A oh, handout? God, he keeps oh, whining. He says in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. <laughs> I can't blame him. I'd be whining too if I was in a zombie apocalypse. Here, Larry. Lily would want you to keep your strength up. That girl needs to quit worrying about me so much. Oh, man. Just seeing the food is driving me crazy. Shut up. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Give axe to Mark or give it to Larry? If I give it to Larry, will he trust us? Here, this should help. Try not to make too much noise. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. Come on, Larry. God, he's a Cut douche. Some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh, I just need some food. I gave you some. This long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. Whiner. One piece of food left. Save the last piece of food for somebody well, else. Some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Should we give it to Lily? It seems like Kenny's on our side. It's L Lily that's not. Here. I don't want anything from you. Oh. Take it anyways. Take it anyway. You need to eat. This doesn't change anything. God, people are so hateful. Not such an easy job, is it? <laughs> I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee, Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice, but you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. See, Kenny agrees. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. <laughs> well. What about the other kid? Oh, God. Mash X.
Uh oh. Ah. <laughs> Stupid band director. For God's sakes, hit him with the axe, Larry. Get it out of the car. Mash, mash, mash. Get off me. You okay? Yeah, thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! You said he wasn't bitten! What? We asked you point blank was he bitten, and you said no! He wasn't! Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Yep, we're all infected, just like the real show. God help us. It makes sense. In those first few days, it spread so fast. Car accidents, suicides, everything was making more of them. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills, a lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, n neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out, see if it's legit? I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what do y'all think? Guess we gotta go. You got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of okay guys, I'm going to pause it right here real quickly so I can split the video.